Search engine optimization for wedding photographers is really quite easy to understand and implement in your business and will have a huge impact in letting more clients find your photography business. I'm Jamie from jamieslanewatson.com and let's get into basic search engine optimization for wedding photographers right now. So the first step to getting started with search engine optimization on your blog is installing the Yoast SEO plugin. So I'm using a WordPress blog, which I highly recommend for the functionality of, and availability of all of their plugins. So if you don't see this on uh, the recommended page, when you go to your WordPress settings under plugins, we're just going to search in keyword here, Yoast SEO, and you're going to hit install now. I already have it, so that's why mine says active. So you're going to hit install now. Once that's done, when you go to one of your blog posts, you'll see it underneath your main blog post content. So at the end of your blog post content, you'll see the Yoast SEO plugin right here. So this is a really handy plugin that allows you to set the focus keyword right here. It also helps you to edit the snippet that'll be shown on Google when somebody searches. So this is how it will appear in Google. You can edit that there. And then they'll also tell you an analysis of how your SEO is doing. So any problems they've found, improvements you can make, and good results. And then the plugin will give you either a red light, a yellow light, or a green light for good, okay, or bad. So you can see this specific blog post, because I haven't worked on it yet, says SEO okay. So the second step to achieving a good SEO rating for your blog is to create titles that your ideal client is searching for. So for this wedding that took place at this specific venue, you can see that I've named it with the venue's name followed by wedding. This is a huge improvement versus naming the blog post Sarah and Brandon wedding because nobody is Googling for Sarah and Brandon's wedding. Instead, I want to attract brides who are searching in Google the name of the venue followed by wedding, assumedly because they're getting married there and want to see examples. So let's try this out. I've opened up a new Chrome window in incognito mode. And what this means is that it's not taking into account any of my past history or personal preferences. and It's not personalizing my Google results at all. It's all exactly as another client or another person would see. So I've searched Robert H. Lee alumni wedding because that's the title of the post. And you can see here, fourth, fifth, sixth, my post comes up number seven based on that search result. So this is an amazing way for me to market to brides who are getting married at this venue. And actually number eight is also me from a wedding two years ago. So after you have your search friendly title, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the same title right here in the permalink. Cause this also will help Google um, know that this is relevant information. So not only is the title there, it's also here. So another great title, I could, be, I could add photos to the end of this because that may be an exact search term that somebody would be using, either one. But you definitely don't want just the venue name, you wanna add wedding, if not wedding photos. SEO tip number three is to name all of your images in the specific blog post with the search term as well. So all of these images that I've put into this blog post that you can see here, they're not called sarahandbrandon.jpg, instead, they're listed as Robert H. Lee Alumni Center Wedding Photos 01.jpg. So you can see here, if you look into the HTML, you can see all of these different image tags here. These are how I've named them. It's quite easy to rename using a program like Photo Mechanic or Lightroom, and you can rename these really quickly, and I have them all named under the venue name or the search term. The reason we name our images with the specific venue's name is it provides another opportunity for Google to show off our photos to a client who may be searching for this specific venue. Instead of typing into the regular Google search results, I tested this out by clicking images. And under images, I'm going to search through, these are all images that Google has deemed relevant to this search term. Now I don't see, well this is actually my image right here, you can see Jamie Delane blog written there. So the third image is one of mine. And as we go down, I'll see a few more of mine here. This is also one of mine. It's even pulled in other weddings that aren't at this venue because it's been from my blog that had this wedding on it. Here we start to see Sarah and Brandon's, the blog post I was showing you. So these are popping up here. This is also one of theirs. And so now this is only gonna increase in weeks to come. This is a pretty new blog post. Maybe a bride would be searching for wedding photos on Google Images. She'd click this. 
and then she'd want to go see where this post is. And then next thing we know, she arrives on my blog post here and hopefully contacts me to book her wedding. SEO tip number four is to include the name of the keyword you're focusing on throughout the blog post. So it's not enough to just have it in the title and in the permalink and in the images. We can go one step further and include links throughout. So you can see that I've done that here by saying, I love the chance to photograph weddings at Robert H. Lee Alumni Center while linking to the venue site. I've also listed it here under ceremony and reception venue there. You always want to make sure that this flows naturally. You definitely don't want to just copy and paste that link a million times. Um, that kind of used to be the old SEO rules 10 years ago. What you're going to want to do is try to fit this in naturally with what you're saying. So I could have probably done even a better job at this. Um, a good example would be I could go down to where there's a reception image. Like here, for example, this is a ceremony. And I could say... Um, Something like, I love photographing in this beautiful space at the Robert H. Lee Alumni Center. And then I could link to that as well, and that would be another way of introducing my keyword into the blog post. SEO tip number five is you want to include quality links throughout your post. So a really easy way to do this when we are wedding photographers is to link to all of the vendors involved in the day. So I've gone through here and I have every single vendor and a link to their website. This is showing Google that my website is quality and it's also focused on directing traffic to other quality websites. And so I've linked all of these here. These are called outbound links. You'll also want some inbound links, which means bouncing people around to other blog posts you have that they might may find relevant. So something I maybe should have done with this post is I could say, P.S. if you want to see another wedding photographed, at the UBC Alumni Center, that's another name for it, you can visit Jamie and Jason's wedding blog post right here. And then I would link this to another wedding that I did at the Alumni Center, and that provides another quality link to Google to show that my website is worth indexing and bumping up in the search results. The sixth and final SEO tip is going to be using alt tags in your images. Essentially, alt tags are something that describe the image to Google because Google doesn't know what they're actually looking at. It's relying on all of this data we put in our blog post and in our images to provide quality search results for people who are searching. So in WordPress, if you click the edit button, edit button here on the image, you'll see the alt text under alternate text written here. So I'm going to write Robert H. Lee Alumni Center Wedding Photos. This is telling Google that this is what this image is about. So when I click update, what this means is that when I go to this image here and say you have a pin it Pinterest button, I can click save and my alt text will automatically be imported here. So anytime this image is shared, you'll have that image, uh, the text rather, embedded in the image through the alt text. So of course, adding alt text to 80 images one by one by using this edit tool would take a long, long time. So instead what I do is I, used the, I use the HTML version of this post. So if you're new to HTML, we're gonna click over here to text, and then I'm gonna copy all of this text by going Command C. Then I'm gonna open up my text edit editor. Once I have my text edit editor open, I'm gonna go format, make plain text. So there's no formatting, and then we're gonna paste this. So this looks like a confusing amount of code, but what we're gonna look for here is alt equals um, two quotes. So we're gonna use the find and replace, and we're gonna have alt two quotes go here. So this is what we're finding and then what we wanna replace it with. So what we wanna replace it with is your um, keyword search term. So anytime you see this in the document, it's gonna replace it with that. So we're gonna replace all and then we're gonna copy this text again and drop it back into the text editor and cover everything there. Then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that nothing else changed in your post, which it didn't and then you're gonna hit update and that's a really quick way to update all of your alt text. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more tips on how to find your ideal client and how to bring more work into your photography business, you're gonna to wanna to head to jamiedelanewatson.com slash 50 ideas, five zero ideas. And there's over 50 ideas for how to market your photography business and bring more clients to your awesome work. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up subscribe and comment below and I would love to hear from you in the comments and interact with you there. Thank you so much for watching.